hello from Michigan. My husband and I are staying in this hotel that overlooks Lake Michigan. It's gorgeous. Last night we got to see the northern lights here, which was really cool. I cannot thank you girls enough for your entries into our giveaway. I have loved reading through all your questions and your video ideas, which are amazing. So as I was reading through, I noticed there were a lot of questions about mental health stuff. And so today we're gonna talk about overwhelming loneliness. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about anxiety. Thursday we're gonna talk about how to recover from an eating disorder. And Friday I have our dietitian friend Jana coming on to tell us foods that you can eat to help with your moods. Like foods that help stabilize the crazy up and down of our emotions. So, it's going to be a really cool week. I've told you girls how I quit my job to travel and speak full time. But what I haven't told you is that while I've been on those speaking tours for months out of the year, I have struggled with insane intense loneliness. Like there have been times I felt like, am I gonna have a mental breakdown? It is so overpowering. But it hasn't just been on tour. It's been all throughout my life I've had this deep sense of loneliness. I had different seasons of life when I'd feel very connected with people, but I'd also have seasons when I didn't. People would think, you have so many friends, but I would still feel like, why do I feel so lonely still? Why do I still feel like nobody really knows me? And sometimes it was because I wasn't letting them get to know me. I was so afraid of rejection that I just helped people at arm's length and then there were other times in my life when it just felt like there wasn't anybody I clicked with after getting married a lot of my close friends moved away and for the last two years my husband and I have been trying to like make some new friends and it takes a lot out of you it's like kind of exhausting to get together with all these different people and like when is somebody gonna click but eventually God has provided some really good friends and it just takes a while and even since getting married I have struggled with loneliness sometimes I'll be with my husband on a great date day and I'll still feel totally alone and like nobody sees me and nobody knows me. That craving we have to be seen and known and loved, like that has to come from God first and foremost. I've come to believe that loneliness, if we let it, can be something God uses in our lives in amazing ways to draw us so much closer to himself because God is the only one who can ever truly, fully, completely know us and see us and love us. And so in that sense, as difficult as loneliness is, it has also been a gift to me as well. But there's been times over those years when the loneliness has felt suffocating. That feeling can be very overpowering and overwhelming and sometimes it's hard to see outside of it. It's hard to believe that someday you're gonna feel better or that someday you won't feel this lonely. So I'm gonna get to some really practical ways you can combat loneliness. But first I wanna talk about where is your loneliness coming from? And here are four common causes of loneliness. So one of my best friends recently went through a therapy group for codependence. And so she was telling me that when you do struggle with codependency, that can create this sense of like anxiety over friendships because you feel like all this pressure in a friendship or like you're not good enough for the friendship. So these are some of her notes from her group. Um, so if you're codependent, you may feel responsible for other people's feelings, actions or choices, or find yourself saying yes when you really mean no, or not knowing what you want or what you need, or telling yourself that what you want and need isn't important. You'll blame yourself for everything. You'll reject compliments or praise or feel different from the rest of the world or like you're not quite good enough. And the list goes on. I think she gave me like eight pages here. And so if your loneliness or feeling like you don't have a lot of friends you connect with is caused by codependency, then you want to work on that root issue. You want to work on the codependency. And I think a great way to do that is through counseling or through therapy groups like my friend went through. It was so helpful and life-changing for her. Another thing that can cause loneliness is simply deciding to stand for what you believe in. Recently one of you wrote me on Instagram saying you were really struggling with loneliness, feeling like you didn't have a lot of friends, and this person said, and for me I've had struggles because I've chosen not to do bad things and not to party, and that immediately casts me out. I feel like I'm not up to their standards, I don't meet their expectations. A lot of people these days don't really care about honesty or trustworthy in a friendship. It's all about someone who will follow the crowd and be a good time. I think there are times in life when doing what we know is right is going to be a lonely place. Elizabeth Elliot wrote about this. Her husband, Jim Elliot, was one of my all-time heroes of the faith because he was a missionary and he was martyred for his faith, um, so killed for his faith. And I always thought he was so cool because I used to want to be a martyr. That was my childhood dream, was to grow up and get killed for Jesus. Like, that was truly my dream as a little girl. I was a very strange child. So anyway, my childhood hero's wife wrote this quote that says, loneliness is a required course for leadership. 
And I think having that perspective was really comforting to me because it made me realize that there was purpose in my loneliness, that God was gonna use it for good and it wasn't just a waste of my time and emotions. And I think sometimes loneliness just comes because we don't know how to make friends. I remember one time being at the Super Bowl party and this girl was there. She was like, I just moved to the area. I really need some friends. And I'm thinking, oh cool, like I would totally befriend you. And so I started trying to talk to her and I would ask her a question and she would give like a two word answer and then silence, nothing. Like she wouldn't ask me, what about you? She would just give a two word answer and stop. And I was like, this is why you don't have friends. Like you don't know how to talk to people. But this is a big thing, guys. Like a lot of us don't know how to talk to people. I have a video all about that called How to Make Friends linked right above. It's a, one of my first videos I ever made, but I think it can be really helpful. And lastly, I think sometimes loneliness just has to do with our physical environment. I know this has been very true in my life. When I'm staying alone in a hotel room for a while and I don't have friends around, like I just start to feel like I'm going crazy in my head. If I just get out of the hotel room into a place with better lighting and with people around me. So usually I go to like a coffee shop or Starbucks. As soon as I get out, I feel so much better. And so sometimes you just need to know yourself. Like what do I need mentally and physically in order to feel better? And so for me, that meant going to a coffee shop, better lighting, more people, voila. Like I feel 80% better just from stepping into that coffee shop. And so knowing yourself and experimenting to see what helps you when you feel lonely is so helpful. Other things that I think can be helpful with loneliness are number one, looking for more friends. And finding friends can be a slow process. I know for me it feels like it takes forever, but I think putting yourself out there is so important. So like going to church, going to a small group or a young adults group, or if you're in school, finding a club you can get involved with or sports team or community sports league. And there's also online communities. And I think it's so important to have friends who are physically there that you can be with physically, but man, having online friends can be such a gift too. I know some of my friends online have been such an encouragement to me like with this YouTube channel. Even below this video, feel free to comment and just be like, hey, is there anyone else who's struggling with feeling lonely and like they don't have friends right now? And maybe you guys can encourage each other in that even online. The second thing to do is be willing to reach out for help. I think finding an adult that you trust who can kind of walk you through your loneliness and learning how to deal with it is huge. But also there are times when it is so overwhelming, we feel like we're gonna go crazy. And if you just need someone to talk to, there is this amazing ministry called Remedy Live. I've got it linked below and they have 24 hour crisis chats. And these are anonymous chats with people who are trained to help with different things like depression, anxiety, suicide, all that. Any time of the day or night, you can just get online and chat them and a real person will be talking back with you. And that's an awesome resource for your girls to have. They're awesome, so check them out. And the third thing is notice what you do that either helps or does not help the loneliness. So there are certain things I do, like if I spend all day long watching TV, I'm gonna feel like super lonely. Like that is not gonna be good for me. Then there are things that if I do them, they'll help me feel better. And they might not be something I even want to do at first, like spending time with God. If I'm feeling lonely, I'd rather just watch TV for hours. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna feel better after spending time with God than I will after just watching TV. I actually have a video more about this called What Are You Feeding Your mind is linked right up there. And lastly, I think sometimes when we're feeling lonely, it's an opportunity God is giving us to reach out to somebody else, somebody who might be feeling lonely themselves. Be willing to make the first move, to go up and say hi to someone who's standing alone at church or who is sitting by themselves at school or who's new. Start a Bible study or join a Bible study to invite someone to get coffee with you instead of waiting for someone to invite you. And maybe you'll be the answer to someone else's prayer for a friend. So as always, comment below, is this something you struggle with? And then look through other people's comments and reply to some of them. And then you can just encourage each other, even in the midst of our loneliness on this online community, which is really fun. So girls, thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you girls, and I will see you tomorrow for a talk about anxiety. Bye.